Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I just honestly felt ugly. <laughs> I'm not gonna let that ruin my mood. So I'm gonna stay optimistic and just accept it for what it is. I was like, oh my god, I need sleep, please. I want sleep so bad, please. Give me sleep. I tried meditating for eight minutes. It was a guided meditation. Half the time I was thinking about sushi. I could not stop thinking about sushi. I'm lacking focus. It's not good. Feels like fate to visualize the things that I would do with you. Bobblehead. You know how I said I was craving sushi? I had to get myself some sushi. I mean, actually, it was already planned that my sister and I are gonna have sushi, so I bought us some sushi. But pretty much, I'm visiting my sister today. Uh, visiting my sister today, and my little nephew Karim. I'm so excited. He's about a week old now. I I love babies, but the fact that this baby is part of the family makes it even better. You know. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what I got real quick. I got sushi from two different places because variety is always nice. So I got us. Ooh, got some salmon nigiri. Oh my god, look at. That. It looks so yum. Oh my god, I'm so excited. This is like my favorite sushi of all time. And also got some, I think that was nigiri. Is it nigiri? I'm getting confused. I think. So got some sashimi. Also, the salmon. I'm pretty sure this is nigiri as well. My sister has not been able to have raw sushi since... She basically got pregnant. She loves raw sushi. She needs to satisfy her cravings and so do I. <laughs> um, okay, so I accidentally ran a red light. Accidentally, it was a really small one. What, dude? Sorry. Oh, I'm so glad there was no one crossing because it was um, a traffic light for pedestrians, pretty much. I didn't notice this is a new area I'm driving around. I wasn't aware that there was... <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. I don't know why it was red though, because there's literally no one there. Because I was directly looking at the roundabout, not looking at the mini little traffic light before the roundabout. <laughs> okay, I'm making up excuses, but I just thought I would share that with you guys. It was accidental. Okay, I don't break rules on purpose. I'm gonna go buy some pimple patches before I go to my sister's house because I'm in need of pimple patches because my period's coming in like a week. And I have, I, I have a pimple patch there and there I only have one pimple patch left in my pimple patch packet. Pimple patch, pimple, 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 pimple. Oh my god, look how cute this is. What does it do? Apparently it's meant to calm you down. I need that because sometimes I have some rustless nights. Empowered women empower women body scrub. I like that. That's so cool. Anyways, seven day sweat protection. That's a thing. I want to get this just because it's cheap. Cool. Let me test this. I'm quite disappointed because I came in hoping to get pimple patches. They didn't have any in stock. I'm frustrated. That's fine. I'm forced to be fine with that. But I did come out with things that I didn't expect to come out with. So I got the roll-on antiperspirant thing. I got one for me and one for my sister. I got this facial toner. It's got hyaluronic acid and aloe vera in it. I feel like aloe vera will help calm down the breakouts that I'm currently having. Hopefully. <laughs> well, I can film you filming me right now. <laughs> we all agree that I'd make such a cute mum. Hehe. <laughs> That's a pop <laughs> Too much. I forgot how. Oh, I'm fine. Why'd you put so much? I forgot how strong it was. Some wasabi is strong and some isn't. Some is. You should watch some. Yeah. I guess you could say it's been a hot minute since I've actually cooked properly. I've been eating a lot of home cooked meals or tuna if there's no food at home. I have eggs. Occasionally I do cook myself my favorite mince, chicken mince. Turkey mince, beef mince, whatever mince I have, I use that and then I cook it up and just serve that with rice, which is what we're doing today. <laughs> you guys, I have been so lazy with cooking, but honestly, it's okay. It's fine because we always have food at home. 
so I'm not really fussed as long as there's protein in my meals um I'm good really a whole bunch I'm probably gonna just chuck everything in because it's probably gonna go off soon and I don't know what to do with it other than chucking it in with my mints <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. We're just gonna make it work. We're just gonna stir fry this and it's a whole bunch of mushrooms. <laughs> Organic beef mince. And hopefully this is, not, this is not gonna take too long. It should probably take me about 15 minutes. I love that. This is why I love cooking mince because it's just so easy to cook. I love GYG. I don't know. I really, I've mentioned that before, but it's probably like my favorite fast food joint. I would consider it fast food because they have a drive through and everything, so I guess it's fast food. <laughs> I don't have any that's close to me, and honestly, I should not be spending money on takeout anyways. You want to save money, so make it at home. Make my own GYG at home. It's not the same though. It doesn't taste like GYG, but it's good enough. <laughs> I don't want my hair to smell, so I'm doing this. This is how I look like right now. Yep. <laughs> Looks good. Hey. That, I added um, spinach, you know, because why not? We're healthy over here. It is actually a part of my routine to hype myself up like the pre hype or the pre workout because I'm taking pre workout today. So we're pre hyping with some music. Gonna get ready. Um, obviously, I'm not in my room right now because my speakers are charging right now. So I gotta party out here before I get ready. A little update, I guess, on my hair. I did bring it up on Instagram already. But yeah, if you guys watch my Instagram, you would know already. I'm not really completely happy, I guess, with how my hair is currently looking at the moment. I can't wait for it to go out because it's so difficult to style. I loved it when I first got the haircut because obviously it was styled it was like blow dried well i mean it's looking okay now because i did kind of try to style it a little bit so that it looks better but before when i woke up in the morning it was really tragic and i'm just like what did i do i'm not used to having so much layers in my hair yeah i just honestly felt ugly <laughs> yeah that and woke up with a massive pimple on my face which is this this massive ass pimple it made me feel even worse because I got this and then I was dealing with my hair problems <laughs> first world problems I know but yeah uh, I'm not gonna let that ruin my mood so I'm gonna stay optimistic and just accept it for what it is I really can't do anything about it can't change it all I can do is just be patient and hopefully it goes down within the next few days hopefully <laughs> please go down in the next few days <laughs> gonna get over it I'm actually tempted to cover it up today I'm probably gonna cover it up just I just can't bring myself to go out in public like this. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but I just have to do it. Ooh. Look at how freaking red it is. <sighs> gonna get ready. Gonna feel good. Gonna look good so that I can work out hard at the gym today. So yeah. Ta da! This is my leg day fit. But yeah, this is just an oversized tee that I got from like Cotton On, I think. And then my XC shorts. I just love the color, I love the fit and everything. And I'm also wearing like my Gymshark sports bra underneath. Nice, cute, comfy fit. Starting the workout week with some squats. Leg day is always the first day of the week and I love squats. I mean, I've learned to love it. Except for the days where I feel weak and I felt really weak today. I was low-key dying. Yo. I mean, I was laughing it off, to be honest. <laughs> RDLs are probably one of my favorite exercises to grow the glutes. I highly recommend you guys to incorporate it into your leg day because she a killer. Ta -da. Okay, I've had like a few bites already. 
I just couldn't help myself to be honest. Oh, they broke in half. Mm. I actually haven't had avocado and toast in a couple weeks now because we haven't had avocados in the house. And I've also had to wait a few days for the avocados to ripen up. But yay, finally I can have avocado and toast. Oh my god, I missed you. Mwah. Well, I went through a phase where I ate this every single day for like a month, I think. When I go through obsessions, specifically with breakfast, I tend to eat it every single day for ages. <laughs> Usually when I have eggs, I always have two eggs and one egg white. I don't know, it's just obviously high in protein. I don't also want to have too much of the yolk because it's high in saturated fat. And the last, ooh, ooh. The last time I got a blood test, I tested for high cholesterol. Sadly, saturated fats shouldn't be in my diet. I should be avoiding high saturated foods, so processed foods. Meat has high saturated fats. Fried foods as well. I've been avoiding fried foods pretty Pretty well actually, I've never really been into fried foods as much, I guess. Like I do like it, but I also don't like the feeling that I get after I eat fried foods, specifically KFC. <laughs> yeah, I've just had to cut down on a lot of high saturated fat tea foods. <laughs> fat tea foods. That's for my health obviously, so I've got to prioritize that. But yeah, anyways, let me just take a bite. Cheers. Mm. Bulgarians hate it. Love hate relationship with Bulgarians. I love resting. Resting is like my favorite part of the workout. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. So on Thursdays, I typically train full body, mainly focusing on glutes and blah, <laughs> bench and shoulders. So yeah, um, as you guys can tell, I do do some glutes. And then we move on to the shoulders a bit. And yeah, that's that's Thursday. <laughs> because this pimple here <laughs> I just got uh, this sh oh. it's been a hot minute since I've broken out this bad like they're actually very painful cystic pimples at the moment I'm not loving my skin and my skin's not loving me right now and it's not fun I mean it's gone down a little bit I guess it was actually a lot worse it was a lot more painful a few days ago but <sighs> I wish it would go down overnight, but I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. I love that one, man. I love it. I love it so much. I love pimples. You know what I'm in the mood for right now? Some old school Justin Bieber. I never thought that I would want to cry. week is just flying by so freaking quick like it's already friday today i just feel like i just said it was friday like a couple days ago it's friday already oh my god what is happening time where are you going you're too quick yeah 
Since it is Friday today, I'm not allowed to have meat because for Lent, if you guys celebrate Easter, I think you would know that, I think, I think it's a general knowledge. I don't know if it's just like a Catholic thing to not have meat on Fridays, but yes, in this household, we're not having meat on Fridays. So I have no choice but to have tuna and rice. We have some mangoes left over. I'm gonna just chuck it on top of the leaves. And I think this might be the last of the mango because it's not mango season anymore. It is definitely not mango season anymore because it's not warm and mangoes are a summer fruit. I'm surprised there's still mango, actually. Am I hungry yet though? I'm not necessarily hungry yet. Why am I taking this out? I'm not hungry. I don't know. I feel like it's just like routine for me to eat at around one o'clock. It's one, oh, it's 12.47 right now. I always eat around one o'clock when I go to the gym in the afternoon. Actually, maybe I do need to eat now because I do want to go soon. I got to go to pick up some things for my sister, for, for my, for my sister, for my sister. I have to pick up some things for her before I go to her house because I'm visiting her and my nephew again today. I'm going to be spending some time with her. I'm <laughs> having lunch now because I'm literally bored. I'm eating out of boredom, but that's okay. I mean, yeah, so I did go to the gym this morning. It's been a while since I've gone to the gym on a Friday. I ended up going with my friend and we did like a full body workout. It was more like cardio based. We did, you know, this push and we did burpees. Love burpees. I don't love burpees. We did like step up, pop. What else did we do? We did some abs, which I rarely ever train abs. I only do that core machine thing once a week because my friend wants to do it so i just do it with her uh but yeah i don't usually train abs it's just not my thing but yeah we did abs today and i died we did like a two minute circuit and i could not keep up i was just like wow this is something i need to work on because my core strength is weak as heck <laughs> okay so i decided saw that the avocado was ripe and we have bread, so I'm gonna have some avocado on toast. And then I'll just put tuna on the salad. Yeah, that's the plan. Let's make some avocado on toast. I'm just gonna have one because I'm not really hungry. I just wanna munch on something. Yeah, one of those um, munchy moods. I've been waiting for you, I've been waiting for you to ripen up. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm running out of space, amazing. But. I highly recommend putting your leftover avocado in foil. I just feel like it stores best in foil and keep the seed with the leftover avocado to keep it more fresh. Proceed. So amazing. Oh, and now my heart is breaking. <laughs> Thought you'd always be mine. Anyways, um, I didn't get to charge my camera at all. I don't know. If, I feel really hot right now. I don't know why it's hot. So I'm gonna film as much as I can. I don't know <laughs> when it's gonna. But yeah. Okay, sanitize always. Always have a sanitizer on hand to take like a quick rapid test before I go to my sister's house for the safety of the baby. My friend recently tested positive for COVID, so I've never actually done this before. So I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna quickly do this test before my battery dies. I stick it up my nose. Oh, one, two. Ew. Ow. <laughs> it's actually worse doing it yourself than getting others, other people to do it for you. Oh my gosh. Wow. I don't know how long I meant to do it. I really can't. Oh, my nose is dripping. <laughs> You drop it on to the S. I'm pretty sure that's negative. Touch. Oh wait, oh yeah. There's just, I thought there was another line forming. My 
my mirrors were really nice. Why does it not look clean on camera? I swear it's clean. It looks a bit like foggy. Or is it just me? Honestly, I feel a bit flat out. Um, I was actually very tired when I woke up this morning. I just had really bad sleep. Like, I felt like I didn't sleep at all last night. It was one of those nights. I honestly felt like I was half asleep, half awake, you know? Like, when you're in that state when like, you can feel everything around you sort of thing. That's how I was. I was like, oh my god, I need sleep, please. I want sleep so bad, please. Give me sleep. I struggle with sleep usually when my time of the month comes along. What I, I googled it last night well, <laughs> well, I couldn't sleep. And then apparently it's because of the increased amount of progesterone, I think, in your body leading up to your period and during your period. So I think that causes like disruption with your sleep. Either you sleep too much or you struggle with sleep. And obviously I'm the one that struggles with sleep. <sighs> And I struggled so hard with the deadlifts today, but I still did it. Still managed to get it done. I was a bit hard on myself. My friend had to give me like a pep talk because I was just beating myself up for my lack of performance, I guess. I didn't feel that great. I just felt mentally not there, I guess. I still hit my PR from the last time. So I did 105 for two reps. The first rep was a bit dodgy, so I wanted to try it again. I gave myself like a 15 minute break. <laughs> Because I'm like, I was very determined to lift 105. What's the word? Smoothly. And yeah, I just want it to be more of a smooth movement. And it was. The second time, it was much more smooth and I was happy with it. Almost passed out though. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure I told you guys last time when I hit my 100 kilo PR, which is I think in Feb, I almost passed out with the second time that I tried to attempt the 100 PR back to back. So I did it again. <laughs> I literally told you guys I don't recommend it, but I did it again. Um, my bad, but I still did it. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> if I passed out, right, I have my friend there to help me out. Maybe I don't know. I don't know what she would do. I don't think she would know what to do if I passed out. Don't be like me, okay? She got angry at me when I <laughs> when I um, almost passed out because she's like, "Why would you try it again?" Um, but she didn't exactly stop me, so <laughs> so. <laughs> No, no, it's here. <laughs> 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 mm. Late night. <laughs> late night. Late night. What's late night? Eight o'clock. <laughs> Ooh. This is my lychee. Oh, yay. Lychee. Watermelon. And yours is lemon fruit. Okay. 